It's KOF Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, hola, mi amigos. Me llamo Bonkotsu History. Bienvenidos una vez más a mi a canal. Uh, espero que estén teniendo un muy buen y maravilloso día. Que estén teniendo un día de poca madre. Uh, y estamos aquí una vez más uh, con un miércoles de, de Kino Fighters 15 precisamente para ser exactos y antes de entrar en mis antes de empezar con lo que yo con los personajes con los personajes que yo pienso que podrían ser el día de hoy los personajes que me gustaría ver me gustaría ver el personaje que me gustaría ver y los personajes que tal vez podrían ser antes de empezar con el video voy a preparar un, una bebida típica de mi país que viene siendo el hermoso país de México, 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 el mi hermoso y adorado México, viva México, cabrones, um, entonces la, tengo aquí los ingredientes para preparar una bebida que yo llamo, bueno que todos en México llamamos a uh, coca de bolsita And, uh, y este um, lo que necesitas por supuesto es una coca, una Coca, necesitas una bolsita por lo regular no es bolsa Ziploc pero es lo único que yo tenía y por lo regular es una bolsa más grande no necesariamente esta un popote uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. y unas ligas para poder amarrar la bolsa al rato lo verán entonces ya que ustedes tienen sus ingredientes lo, lo que necesitan para hacer eso lo que van a hacer es abren la coca agarran la bolsa ponen el popote adentro para estar seguros asegúrense que si su popote de los que se dobla que el lado que se doble esté por afuera preferiblemente y después agarran su coca abren la bolsa pueden sostener el popote agarran su coca lo abren y empiezan a vaciar su coca en su bolsa yo diría que eso es suficiente por lo menos para esta bolsa después lo que hacen es enroscan enrollan la bolsa alrededor del popote agarran su liga y amarran la liga alrededor de la bolsa y el popote y una vez que tengan su popote bien amarrado alrededor de su bolsa su liga bien amarrada alrededor de su bolsa y su popote pueden proseguir a beber de ella asegúrense de que el popote no esté dando con la bolsa porque no van a poder absorber absolutamente nada Mm. Delicioso. Suck on that, Giuna. All right, hello everybody. Bankatsu Isha here, and welcome back to another KOF 15 Wednesday. Uh, now I know I'm not gonna be making the entire video in Spanish, um, because that would go against the point, the nature of this channel. My point was to try and make a English speaking channel focusing on KOF. So, uh, my, what I'm hoping for today is I am hoping for the final character for the, the women's fighter team. We got your fucking, we got Yuri two months ago. It's been two months since we got the Yuri trailer and we don't know who she is with. It could be my, Cause that's the only other woman that is there and so i'm assuming we're waiting on one last character to fill out the women's fighter team but in all honesty who knows but i'm hoping that if that is the case if there's just one more character that we're waiting on to fill out the women's fighting team i hope we get it today because um it fucking has been two months man like just <sighs> and I might have my hopes a little bit too high because 
Sorry, it's that Coke from earlier. Coca de bolsita. Um, I might have my hopes up. I might have my hopes a little bit too up because if they're taking this long to reveal who is on the female fighting team on the women's fighting team, who the last member is, if it's the last member we're waiting on, um, I think it's going to be someone huge. I think it's going to be someone that we haven't seen in a while. So they're really holding on to that last character to be like, boom, shatter all expectations. Obviously, if you ask me, who could, who do I want that to be? Mei Li, 100%. I want it to be Mei Li, and I hope it's Mei Li. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying that the final woman... The final member of the women's fight team has to be made lead because it's been a while it's been it's been a while since since she's been playable and honestly she's a great fucking character and it, she could only be she could only be better in the current state that fighting games are in and the current state that kof is going to be in kof 15 is what going to be in now who could it all who could it also be if not Mei Li? Probably Kazumi. I'm hold I'm holding out that it might be Kazumi as well. Uh and um it's also been a hot minute since Kazumi has been playable in one of these newer games. Um I honestly don't remember if she was in 13 or not, but I mean either way, she wasn't in 14, so for them to go out and create a whole new character model and whole new character animations for Cosme is going to be a pretty huge deal. Kind of like with Shermi, uh, Yashiro and Chris, who they weren't in previous games. They have, they had no, uh, assets to pull from to minimize the workload. So. It's gonna be a huge thing. Of course, they could just go the easy route and have it be Alice. Um, I wouldn't agree. Like, I feel like if they're gonna bring back Alice, which I'm, ha I'm happy if I'm gonna be happy if they bring back Alice. I have no problem with Alice. I, and I would prefer her to be in this game like i want her to be in this game it's just if they're gonna bring back alice put her on another team throw together another team that you can have alice on I mean, there's plenty of other women that can have alice and have another team uh so i don't know man um i'm hoping for the last character of the women's team if it's roger or clark or even fucking Hydern. If it's fucking Hydern, holy shit. Uh, if it's another character that's going to be with Leona, another Team Ikari character, I'm okay with that too. But um, I guess all I've got to do now is wait and see. See you guys when the trailer drops. <clears throat> One last thing I forgot to say before we get into the trailer uh, dropping. Um... Follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is going to be somewhere on the screen and it's also going to be in the description. Uh, I'm going to be posting more on my Instagram. I want it to be the one place where I can communicate with you guys in case, I don't know, God forbid, uh, at some point I can't make a reaction and it's going to have to come out later. Or I just can't... Um, I just can't make the reaction at all or any videos or some videos are gonna like not be coming out like whatever i need to update you guys since i don't have a community tab yet uh instagram is where i would prefer that you guys follow me so that i can uh update you guys on stuff that is happening that i need to tell you guys without having to like make a whole video about it uh and also if you want to see my thoughts on i'm currently going through the kof a new uh, beginning uh manga so um i'm uploading my i'm uploading my favorite moments from the manga over there on my instagram as i'm reading through it so if you guys want to see my quick thoughts on specific moments it's it's all gonna be over there i might start posting up my um my thoughts about the 
BGM music and the idle animations that SNK has been releasing. Like right now, just looking right here at the channel right in front of me, uh, they got the BGM out for uh, Team Hero, Team Second Treasures, and Team Fatal Fury. I'm assuming are the Art of Fighting team uh background music is going to be out at some point i know they released the idol animations for team orochi so i haven't seen some of those yet most of them yet but i might uh i might check them out and then post my quick thoughts on it over on instagram so if you guys want to know what i think about that and the manga and just be able to keep up to date with me and uh i don't know it's instagram you can message me if you want as well uh go ahead and follow it it's somewhere up here and it's also going to be in the description below thank you very much let's get to the trailer huh i see that it's up there why is it not showing up over here it always takes a while why does it always take a while Oh shit, again with the two for one? But why? SNK, why is it? Why are you so hell bent on not letting me know who the last member of the female fighters team is? And why are you doing to why are you doing this to me, SNK? Why? Why? Why is it so hard for you to tell me who the last member is? All right, let's see this shit play out. Team Ikari. Right from the back. We got dialogues. We got dialogues. We got dialogues. Interactions. What's wrong with your glasses? Oh, it's purposefully like that. Okay, I thought I was clipping there for a second, Clark. It's a middle slug stage! It's a middle slug stage! I... Oh my god! Okay, I'm hyped! Okay, I was disappointed, but I'm hyped! Oh, fuck! They got the things in the back! They got the dude and the dicks off the pants and shit! Oh my god! Damn, Ralph isn't gonna be able to walk after that anymore. He got baned. He, he got baned like Bruce Wayne. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, we've seen some stuff. Oh, <coughs> Oh, oh, okay. Oh shit. Yo, is that I'm actually fucking into this. Hold on. Hold on. It's a fucking Oh, Ralph. I'm going for Ralph because he's not a charged character. Fuck oh, Clark. Okay. Let's go, my boy. Oh. Ah, no climax. Ah, you thought. You thought. <gasps> oh, adorable. I fucking love it. Oh, hey, there's my video. Ignore all the Gura. So it was <laughs> just right there. Um, I don't know what that's about. I mean, obviously, the biggest takeaway from this is the fact that it's a fucking Metal Slug stage. I hope I didn't say Metal Gear again the first time. It's a fucking Metal Slug stage, man. It's got the tanks and the camels and there's the power-ups in the background. It got the chest. For a second, I thought that that was just like clipping in the glasses. And I was like, oh no, SNK, why would you, why would you put that in there? There's the power-ups for heavy machine gun and shit. Oh my god, and they got the tank and the huge ass ship in the background. Get the fuck out of here, Ralph. Jesus Christ. They did the other guys in the background with the. Takes up the pants and he got the other guy in the other background. He's like waving. Oh my god, I don't even. I don't even know what to say about fucking. Wait, who's that in the back? Who's the blonde? Is she someone? Yo. 
they would have put Philo or the other dude, the guy with the headband here in the background. Mm, Jeff's kiss. That would have been fucking amazing. But this stage is holy. This stage is so cool. Is this the first time they make like a metal slug stage in a KOF game? Because we know fucking Leona has been in metal slug. Um, but fucking and like in the Team Ikari ending, you got Philo and the other guy in the background during the V brief. It was just fucking. Oh my god! I got. I got more hyped for the stage than the fucking characters that were watching and then I eventually actually got like into the match It's it's it was actually it's actually pretty sick. They got the chest got the camels over there the camel with the fucking the machine guns and fucking, and There's a flying saucer. There's a flying saucer. Oh my god. Ah, uh, okay <clears throat> I've got nothing to say about Ralph and Clark. I played him once and that was it. They're cool characters. I mean, Ralph, I could actually check out a little bit more because he's not a charged character, but Clark. Uh... My big question now is, is Hydern even going to make it into the game? Is Hydern going to be on another team or are we going to have to wait for him to be DLC again? I don't think. I don't think. I think every character that is in KOF 14 right now is going to be in the main roster in some way, form or fashion. And then for DLCs, DLC characters, we're going to be getting new characters uh, that weren't in 14. That's at least what I'm hoping. And that's what I think. Uh, if it's not like that and we get DLC characters that were already DLC characters in 14 or we get DLC characters in 15 that were in the main roster of of 14 I don't know if I want to do that SNK that's going to be a little bit iffy there but nonetheless I'm so fucking hyped for the metal slug stage holy shit um let me know what you guys think and uh da -da, subscribe if you haven't if you made it this far uh and you're not subscribed yet please subscribe i'm trying i forgot to say it at the beginning of the video but I, i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers because that's when youtube uh kun uh youtube senpai finally starts recognizing me as an actual channel and they actually start pushing me a lot more and i would love to do that to be able to make more content for you guys so please uh hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet let me know down in the comments what you think of the video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace